welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do a sketch pad video just basically showing you guys um, my sketchbook not my sketch pad my sketchbook and showing you guys like what you should have inside of it and this is really for aspiring designers um, if you're starting out if you're wondering what's the first step to being a designer um, a sketchbook is crucial um, I do a lot of like fashion design videos as I see videos but if and I but I also do like hauls and stuff um, so if you guys are like wanting to see a certain type of video if you guys are tired of me talking about fashion design just like comment below let me know like what kind of video you guys want to see but I see that like a lot of people are really interested in design so that's why I'm doing these videos so yeah um, this is my sketchbook and I actually got my sketchbook at Utrecht Blick. It's like a combined art store. It's Utrecht or Blick or whatever. It's re it's really close to FIT. I think it's on 25th Street. And yeah, for my art and design class second semester, we were told to get a, a sketchbook. So this is mine. And it looks like that. And I don't really remember how much it cost. I think it was like $10 or like $12 around there. Eight, eight to $12, somewhere around there. And I don't really know the dimensions, but it just looks like this, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is my sketchbook. Now, um, my first page is my customer page. Now, that what that really means, basically, is, like, it's a page that shows me what kind of girl I envision to design for. Now, the problem with a lot of designers these days are that they make just clothes, like regular clothes that like basic or whatever. But if you really want to be a designer that is going to very venture off far and be like a designer like an Alexander Wang or a Ralph Lauren, someone who you want to be monumental, you can't just design any type of clothes for any type of feeling. You need to have a certain type of aesthetic and you need to have a certain kind of customer base. So that's why it's so important that you rip out from photos and magazines and just pick out a whole bunch of photos of what you think who you'd want to design for. Um, on mine I have Cardi Kloss and um, Cara Delevingne and that doesn't mean I just want to design clothes for models, no. I look at the girls on my page and what it says to me are edgy girls, very sexy, confident, independent. That's what I get when I look at the girls on my customer page. And those are the girls who I want to design for. So whatever kind of girl you want to design for, whether she's like very rock and roll, or whether she's very ethereal, very soft, whomever you want to design for, you want to make a page. So when you're designing, you can confidently look back to that page and see, would this girl wear what I'm designing? So that's what's important. That's what you should have in your sketchbook to start off with. Then um, I did my Balmain project, which I did show in my um, what I made in FIT video. But this is my Balmain project. I'm just going to quickly show you guys just in case. Um, just quickly show, just so you guys know how it looks like. So that's a project that I did. So when you are deciding to come up with designs, that's the finished pro product, but it's steps to it. So first you wanna make a page dedicated to whatever you're deciding to design. So I was doing Balmain. So I went online, I went in magazines, and I ripped out a whole bunch of things that had to do with Balmain. The type of jeans they created, runway pictures, ads, anything that had Balmain. So when I'm designing, I can keep in mind what the company's aesthetic is. This is if you're gonna, if you're trying to design for a company or if it's a project for school, a company that you'll do and you just kind of do like a, a kind of mood board page of that. If you're designing for yourself, if you're not trying to make it based on a company, you wanna have a page where you have your inspiration page. So you'll skip that step and you'll have an inspiration page. And this is the inspiration that I got. As you can see at my finished product, you see a lot of black, you see a lot of gold, you see kind of like this joker kind of card theme, and that's what I did. 
I made kind of like a mood board of my inspiration. This is so crucial because when you're designing, you want to keep a similar color story, a similar theme. It's so important. And also you can put fabric swatches, like I have a denim fabric swatch, a swatches you were thinking of using in your collection. Then you're going to do like thumbnail sketches. You're going to do like little thumbnail sketches of what you choose to design. So all of these I made into a bigger version in my actual finished pro project. But you just do it so you can have an idea of what you want to create, the colors you want to use. It doesn't have to be this thought out. It doesn't have to be this colored. Like you can see, I didn't even finish coloring this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just rough ideas. And that's what I did. And then once I have all these ideas together and I come up with an outfit, I put it on like my portfolio pages so that's really what should be in your book and then for Yves Saint Laurent I did the same thing you see I have the fabric swatches I was using some runway things that remind me of Yves Saint Laurent and my theme kind of my inspiration was like these neon bright lights at night these pink lights and you can kind of get a feel for it of what you want and that project this was my final inspiration page, and this is one of the designs. I, I should put another video, so that's why I'm just like not really like showing you guys. But that's the process that it went towards, and then you can see I have some fabric swatches, more inspiration, more you saw more on. So that's what you want when you're trying to do a final project, when you're doing a cohesive idea. But your sketchbook can also be just used to just draw random things. And this is um, my thumbnail sketches for that you saw And more thumbnail sketches. But it can be anything you want. When you come up with an idea, this is what I created for my pattern making class. But when you come up with some just random ideas, you have random thoughts, random dresses and stuff like that, that's what your sketchbook is really used for. So as you can see, I just like randomly draw and that's what it is. When you just like randomly get inspired by things, you just use your sketchbook to really just think out your ideas but when you're trying to complete a final project when you're kind of when you're going to do a collection when you're going to have a presentation you really want to keep a customer in mind like I said you want to make sure you know about the company you're designing for if you're designing for Balmain if you're designing for Louis Vuitton if you're designing for whomever Chanel um, Ralph Lauren whoever you decide to design for you want to make sure that you know their aesthetic and you know what they're um, about as a company and then you want to have an inspiration page because if you decide to design for a company and you have a design team you all have to be on the same page one person's inspiration can't be about butterflies and the other ones about like knives and swords it's just, just like you guys are gonna have two completely different things this aesthetic could work with the company but the ideas are gonna be so different so usually when you're in a design company they'll usually say oh you know we're doing medieval times and you guys have to come up with an idea if there's so many different themes and uh, inspirations you're gonna get so many different things so you want to kind of narrow down your thinking and be inspired not by just like a color you don't just want to say oh my inspiration is pink like try not to do that try to be more like my inspiration is like a certain decade or it goes to a museum and it's based off a certain painting or something like that that's good for inspiration so people can feed off of that and your collection can kind of grow also, what's important to have in your sketchbook or around your sketchbook, I would say, are color swatches. I actually got these at Walmart. I don't know if you guys can see because of the lighting. I got these at Walmart, but I know they have these like at Home Depot's, Depot and stuff. And I just got like a whole bunch of color swatches. And the great thing about these are that they can help, they can help create um, a collection. So if I want to create a collection I can say okay I like this palette I like this palette and I think this blue would go great with it and then you can like cut out the squares and put them on your, your board and these will help you decide okay what colors look good with each other it's really good to have these swatches because you can help look for fabric you can take this and you know what I like the clearly deep ultramarine and when I go fabric swatching I'm gonna see 
if I can find this kind of color to match. It's really good to have just to um, help you with your color scheming, what colors go good together, and help you when you go swatching at stores. It's very important, like I said, to add swatches in your book as well. Um, if you are going to FIT, um, there is a swatch room. So there's a whole bunch of swatches. I always use that, but those are discontinued swatches, so you can't really like design out of them but I would um, suggest that you go to fabric stores around the city and get swatches there a lot of the places some places can be stingy but um, some other places just give it to you for free um, and they're fine with that so definitely swatching is good but a sketchbook is crucial I'm telling you if you're into design make sure you have a sketchbook and make sure you're using it um, to display your ideas it's super important so yeah, that's about it, and I thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you guys next time. Bye!